Okay, my friend uh, Dustin Jed gave me some fish. These are a pillow. These are yellow spot papilla because they're yellow spots. These are young trevally. So what I, I'm going to do first, see if I'm going to scale your pillow really easy. Really, really easy. See all that? Those are scales. And if they come flying up, this little cup holder will, will catch it all. There's one down. These have very minute scales, pretty easy to do. These are going to be fried, so um, just want to take the scales off. One thing about scales is they go flying. You kind of want to do this outside. Don't want the wife slash girlfriend to yell at you. But with this little saver here, it's going to keep the scales in there and, and it won't fly around. It's a great thing to have. That's it. So. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up the anal track here. Don't need don't need to use a knife for this. Just go right through the the fins here, right up to the top. Spread it open with your fingers. See the gills here? See the way it connects to the front? Just pull it. Slowly pull the whole thing up. Look at that. Comes out perfect. This one. Cut along the anal track. See that? Very easy. Just do it slow. That's two. Again, go right up the inner track. And voila. See? See how easy that was? Again, my good friend, Dustin Jed, gave me a call a little while ago and said, hey, I got some fish for you. Come on down. So I came on down. So I'm going to start filling up the sandwich bag here with the guts. Now you can throw it away or you can save it for your crab traps. Here in Hawaii, crab chops are the thing. <laughs> Love to use that for crab chops here. Okay, got a quart sized bag here. One, two, three. Okay. Notice we got three in there now. So these are all done. Put that on the side. These are the guts from that. So I'm gonna rinse off the work area. Okay. Now we're gonna tackle the trevallis. Right. Okay, now we're going to do the yellow spot trevally. This is a good size one. Probably weighs, I don't know, around two pounds. Good size. So you get the scoots here. You can see that? See how sharp that is? It's all the scales bunching up together forms the scoots. So what we're going to do is just when you bunch up. Uh, no, I'm sorry, i got to do it the other way. Yeah, I'm sorry, this way. When you bunch up. Take it off. I mean, 
and you can leave it on and just fillet it but I like to keep the skin on because if you ever fry the skin oh I like that crispy skin it's like having crispy chicken skin okay so all our dollars in there so now I'm going to oh this is such a good skill look at the skill see it just comes right off literally right off Look at that, so fast. Now if you use a normal scale without this, the scales will be flying all over the place. That's if it's dry. You notice I wet the fish down first. If you wet the fish down first, the scales form a paste like this and it doesn't go flying. That's it. Might as well do both of them. Okay. So, Grab the tail, cut the scoots off, that's one, two, okay, nice, I like it when things move smoothly like this, so now we do the scales, Again, look how beautiful these scales just come right off. That's it. See, last time I did this, had people coming around say, Come on, Chris. I get that at the bank and almost everywhere else I go every day. Kind of getting used to it though. Get all the skills off. There you go. Whew. Kind of hard on the back if you don't have a chair. All right. Well, this take the guts out again. I don't use a knife. I kind of like my kitchen shears. Start up the anal track. You know, it's right here. Go right down the middle. This is a thick one. Thick ones are not that easy to do. Just cut that center area, break it apart like so. Stick your fingers in. Just separate the gills from the inside of the top of the head. There it is. Now see this area here? Always be careful not to cut your fingers. There. See? So this here is the gills, right? See that part there? It attaches to the top there. So if you break that, right? <sighs> yeah. See, I just broke it. See, these gills here was attached to the top, right there. So now we slowly pull this out. Look at that. The stomach cavity, the lining comes out with everything. With the eggs. There it is. Okay. Do the second one. Ah. It's a legal size, not as big as the first one. Still a good size. Okay. 
Um, and when you're fooling around with this, make sure that you don't get poked by the top barbs here. I mean, you can cut them off if you want. You don't have to. Can you see how the gills connect to the front here? Pull that. See it? And they connect again to the top of the head. Pull that just back and forth slowly. There we go. Then you pull up the stomach lining very carefully. Look at that. Isn't that great? So all the guts there. That's it. It's best to, like I said, it's best to do this outside. Some people say do not use a lot of fresh water, which I agree. I would rather use salt water when I'm on the beach. But I got this free. I had to pick it up. So I had no choice. Okay. I was got some paper towel. Alright. So I use freezer bags. You know, put the small one, small of the two in the freezer bag, followed by the pillow. Close this one up. This one's ready to go. This goes in the fridge. Gonna be pan fried. Nothing fancy, just pan fried. Okay. This one may not fit in here. Let's see. Well, kind of. But we're just going to break the tail. Ah, there, it snapped the tail. Now it fit. Squeeze the air out. There we go. Put the guts in the bag. All done. My friend also gave me some fillets. This is from a uh, tuna. This one's from a cava cava, which is the um, false bonito. This one's from an aku. Pretty big one. So we got some nice looking fillets here. Now this one here, I really don't want to hit with water. Just want to clean up some of the, the blood from the bag. So what I'm going to do here, see now. Start my, well, I can do this way. Go down the middle bone on one side of it. Do I hit the skin like so and then just follow the skin see see how I'm following the skin there it's been a while since I've done this normally I give it away there we go this one go down the center bone until you hit the skin Normally I like the, the, the skipjack tuna better than the yellowfin because it's a bloodier fish, stronger taste. I, I like the stronger taste. It's a matter of personal preference. There. Whew. Okay, got a special bag just for that. Ah. 
Okay, one, two in that one. Okay. Put the skin in the guts in here. And do the same thing again. See, the center bone's here. I'm gonna go slightly on the side. The two, I can feel the knife hitting the skin. Then come down this on it. Like so. Don't waste anything. Mmm, good. Really good. Okay. So, put that in the bag. Come down to again to the skin. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to be slow. It would help if my knife's a little bit sharper. Definitely. Okay. There you go. Good crab bait here. Really good crab bait. Now this is a big chunk. This is a major chunk. Wow. Thank you, Justin. Whew. Look at that one. I wish I had a sharpened knife. Might have to come back and get the tidbits after this. There you go. Ooh, that's a good chunk of meat on that one. Okay. Ah, still got some meat left on this one. I'm just gonna take it off a little, a little later. I'm just gonna get most of it off now. There it is. Whew. That's it.